guys, it's Tilly and in today's video I am going to show you guys book series that I will never finish. And when I say never, I kind of just mean that the chances are very slim that I will continue on with these series, uh, either because I didn't like the first few books in it, or it's been so long that I kind of remember what the first book was even about, or just reasons that I'll probably explain when I get to certain series. So jumping straight in, we have The Poison Study series by Maria V. Snyder, and I think that these books are absolutely beautiful, which is why I continue to buy them without actually reading them. So I read the first two and half the third book in the series, and I really loved the first one, but for me the series kind of just dropped off after that, so I stopped reading them, but I still kept on buying them because I really like the way that the books look. So it's kind of like turned into just like aesthetic purposes to be on my shelves with these. The Defiant series by CJ Redwine and I started this series out and I loved it. The first book was amazing, the second book was okay, the third book is kind of like why am I still reading this? And I'm fairly certain that like a fourth book for this series has just come out and I'm not going to even bother looking at it because by the end of these three books I was pretty much completely done with this series. Um, I'm not even sure what it was, like the writing is really good in it but like the characters, the plot, everything kind of just went downhill for me but I am pretty excited to pick up CJ Redwine's new book, I think it's The Shadow Queen, because that looks like it's going to be pretty great. Oh my god, the sun is so bright right now. So this next one might come as a shock to a few people, but The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I read the first book and I did enjoy it, although it isn't like something that I thought was absolutely amazing, and it's been a while since I read that, and then in that time The Mind Water has come out, and I've just had no interest in picking it up. So hopefully that'll change, but I have many other books that I'd rather read before this one, so I don't think I'm going to finish this series. The Monstrumologist series by Rick Yancey, and I tried three times to get in to The Monstrumologist, and every time I only got about like 50 pages in and I just couldn't do it. This book has sent me into three different reading slumps because I tried to force myself to read it, and I just did not want to. So I have finally agreed that I'm never going to finish a series but it's going to stay on my shelf because I did the thing where I bought the entire series and regretted it. All Fall Down by Ali Carter and See How They Run, which just came out recently and I picked this book up like at Demix and then I remembered that I didn't even really like the first book and that I would not read the second book. But I guess they look pretty cool together. So that's something. Obi Neaton by Isabel Carmody and I am sorry but I did try. I tried really hard to get into this book and I failed completely and part of me still really wants to enjoy this as a series because everyone talks about how amazing it is and how it's a great fantasy and I love fantasy but I just could not get into Obi Neaton and it kind of breaks my heart a little bit especially because there's a cat on the cover. I can honestly say right now that I have no interest in picking up the rest of the books that are in the Summoning series by Kelly Armstrong because I have no connection to this book at all, so why would I want to go and pick up the rest when I don't even really care about it? But it's a pretty book. I think it's quite clear that my biggest crime when it comes to books is that I buy the whole series and I keep books on my shelves because they're pretty, but that's because I have a weakness for all books because technically to me all books are pretty. So um, there you guys have the book series that I won't finish. Maybe one day, but you know, right now one day is going to be in the very far future, years and years ahead when I might not have anything left to read and I'm getting pretty desperate. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with those series, that was just my opinion on half of them and just my laziness when it comes to rereading books. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to look at my other blogs and social media below and what are some book series that you guys will never finish. So that is all, I will be back later on this week with another video and I shall see you guys soon and have a wonderful bookish day and do great things, change the world.